Yeah, a great game. Um, you know, really great game. I thought uh, we it was uncharacteristic of us to have so many turnovers in the first half, but we really settled down in the second half. And obviously that's what VCU pressure will do to you, makes it uncomfortable. Um, they're aggressive and quick. Uh, but then the second half, I thought we settled down, um, took care of the ball better. I thought we defended great. You know, we had uh, 12 steals. Uh, I thought we were really scrappy and in there. Um, and then, you know, we, we were a, a team that we don't solely rely on threes, but we have to make some threes, and <clears throat> that's too low of a number for us. Uh, but credit to VCU, they, they played well, made some very big shots down the stretch, and uh, we look forward to our game on Tuesday at Duquesne. Questions for Andre? Andre, could you go through the sequence where you took the three from the white right wing with uh, four or five seconds left and what Richfield was trying to do with that possession? Um, so there was about 20 seconds on the clock. We're trying to get um, a shot for Grant Gilly. I think Nick was on the floor. Tyler, like, get them a good look. And when I got the ball, there's like four seconds left. So I thought that was the best thing I could have done at that moment. And could you also walk us through that sequence where you kind of tip the ball into the backcourt there late? with Vince Williams, that scramble, and then he just hit what looked like a prayer on a three-pointer. Um, I mean, they were stagnant, so I thought I could have got it. I wish I was there a split second earlier, so I could have got it and get possession. I just should have to like get, come up with the ball, and I think that would have happened. So. Maybe you go for I guess? Thanks, Andre. Coach, could you start at the end with the, uh, the play set up to get uh, Jake the shot creaking down the right side? Is that, that something that's uh, been in your book for a while? Yeah, a little while. Um, you know, we, we executed it well. Nate's, uh, you know, a very good inbounder in that situation. And then, um, you know, he's got a great target in Grant, and Grant trusts Jacob so much um, uh, that, he, that he hit him in stride with a nice pass. And I thought Jacob got a good look, um, you know, for that kind of situation. 3.1 seconds, usually think, you know, if you throw the ball to the guy, that's three dribbles with Jacob, it's probably four. And if you're trying to throw it to somebody else, that limits you. But I, I wanted to make sure he didn't rush, and I don't think he did. I thought he uh, got a good look and, um, you know, unfortunately didn't go in. Very hard shot. Was it a was it a three? We couldn't quite. Uh, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. Yes. It was. Mm -hmm. The defense aside, um, how much of their defense took you out of being comfortable shooting? Because yeah. Richmond's used to shooting much more than thirty five percent, like you said, from behind the arc. You guys have to be better than that. How much of it was their defense getting you out of sync, and how much of it was you guys just? not having a good night yeah well a lot of it is there is their defense you know and you're not going to get the same you're not going to get the same exact shots that you, against other, that you get against other teams um because of how good they are in defense and how they can pressure the ball now you're going to get some different shots uh because you know any any anything you're taking away you're, you're giving a little bit um and and yeah we, we you know we shot poorly from the field all around, which many of their opponents do. Uh, we shot, we didn't shoot well from three. And I thought we had some threes that, uh, that were, were, were good and right and rhythm, um, that, that we didn't make. Uh, but again, you know, a lot of credit has to go to their defense and this is, you know, that's their blueprint and their game plan and they're, they're excellent at it. How much will you take coming back from two different 10 point deficits? Yeah. To look at those runs and say, this is where, you know, we need to play for. Yeah. Minutes. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. I, I, you know, um, as I said, I thought our defense was was very, very good. We we were we were disruptive also and stole the ball, deflected passes, made them uneasy. You know, they made a couple of of you know uh, Williams had the bank shot uh, down the stretch. They made the three late, or Vince Williams made the three late. So they were able to get some things and and make some individual plays that, that were that were impressive and nice plays. I thought overall our our team defense was very good. Chris, going into halftime. You're sloppy with the ball. You had to sit Nathan for most of the 20 minutes, and yet you're only down three. Did you feel like you yeah, got away with one? For sure, for sure. I, I did feel that way. You know, it's again, it's I, I don't want to uh, take away from BCU's pressure and their and their defense, but still uncharacteristic for us to have a lot of turnovers. And I did think that you know Nick made that three at the end of the half, uh, really nice play and drive by Jacob. That yeah, 
Nate hadn't been in. We had been sloppy with the ball. We hadn't really gotten a rhythm yet. Uh, so I felt like it was that was in our favor that we were only down three. You kind of touched on it. Did you feel like you guys defended it the way you wanted late? Uh, it just was a matter of Vince making two tough shots with that bank shot and then the three. Yeah, those were tough shots. You know, and Andre, uh, you know, I, I'd like to see it. Uh, the replay, I really thought he was going to get the ball, you know, just in terms of my my vantage point, I thought he might be able to get the ball or, or go out of bounds or something like that. Uh, and that was a great play. You know, the bank shot, there's some good fortune there, but still he's he's going in there. He's making the shot very impressive.